Sripal Bangalore, uh, Associate Professor of Medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center. Today we're going to discuss my article, uh, which is going to be published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The title of the article is Angiotensin Converting Enzyme Inhibitors or Angiotensin Receptor Blockers in Patients Without Heart Failure, a meta-analysis of over 250,000 patients from randomized uh, clinical trials. So in order to understand the background for our article, it's important to go back to the history of uh, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, also called as ACE inhibitors, um, and angiotensin receptor blockers, also called as ARBs. So A ACE inhibitors were uh, developed in the 80s and 90s, and ARBs were developed uh, later on in 2000. And both of these class of agents are used um, to uh, treat blood pressure and also for other indications and they act on a pathway that controls blood pressure and fluid balance. Um, what has happened is the trials which were done in the 80s and 90s using ACE inhibitors showed a significant benefit of ACE when compared to placebo, but the later trials which were done uh, with ARBs in the 2000s did not show similar benefit when compared to placebo. And this has led many people and also the guidelines to say that uh, ACE inhibitors should be preferred uh, compared to ARBs because of the significant benefit. But the problem with this is if you look at the trials which compared head-to-head -head ACE inhibitors and ARBs, there was no significant benefit of uh, ACE inhibitors. In other words, there is no difference in the outcome between ACE and ARBs. So we uh, sought to assess this. We wanted to look at the outcomes of ACE and ARBs to really see if there is a difference in outcomes between the two class of agents. And what we found in an analysis of, uh, for, of 250,000 patients from randomized trials, and the amount of follow-up we had was over 800,000 patient years of follow-up. So a pretty large number of patients uh, from randomized trials. And what we found was the difference which we saw between ACE and ARBs in the placebo-controlled trials could actually be explained by the generation gap between the two uh, set of trials. In other words, the ACE trials, patients enrolled in the ACE trials tended to be um, more likely to smoke. As you know, in the 80s and 90s, there were a lot more smokers than in the year 2000s. Uh, patients in the, in the trials were done in ARB uh, era, there seems to be less smokers and also a lot more use of aspirin and statins. And it wasn't surprising that uh, ARB trials uh, were negative because the background risk of these patients were low compared to that of ACE. Uh, the bottom line, the take-home message from our article, uh, based on all of the randomized trial, is that there is actually no difference in cardiovascular outcomes and also some renal outcomes between ACE and ARBs in patients without heart failure. The only difference we found between the two class of agents is that um, ARBs tended to be better tolerated than that of ACE. So the clinical implications of our findings are that um, it uh, expands the indications for it expands the choice of using either of the agents for patients without heart failure and one of the in interesting thing important thing to also consider is ARBs are better tolerated so if I have a patient who is at increased risk of ACE associated adverse events such as cough such as women uh, patients of Asian origin or uh, blacks uh, where we know that these patients are at increased risk of cough uh, it, I'd rather go for ARBs because we know that these agents are better tolerated. The key takeaway for this study is that uh, you know, we have had three decades of uh, trials comparing ACEs and uh, ARBs and nearly two decades of debate um, as to which agent is superior. We hope that this article, which is very comprehensive, has a lot of patients and a lot of patient years of follow-up, will finally put a rest to all of these debates. And uh, the take-home message is for a, a physician, you have two very good choices, ACE inhibitors and ARBs, and we, we can uh, pick from either of these uh, class of agents based on the patient in front of you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. 
You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about health care at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.